What's up guys, it's Josh here back with another Kansas City Chiefs related video and today I wanted to give my thoughts on a rumor that has been swirling as of lately that uh, 2020 Chiefs third round draft pick Lucas Niang could potentially play left tackle next season. So Andy Reid and the team had a press conference earlier this week and when talking about the offensive line, Andy Reid mentioned the fact that he believes Lucas Niang and even Kyle Long, but the bigger story is Niang here, could play left tackle if necessary. And Niang is the bigger story just because he is, you know, the tackle that they drafted really recently. Long was more of a low risk, high reward pickup, and he's, you know, he's more of a guard. He played tackle that one season in Chicago, but this is more about Niang. But I find that really interesting, and I debate. I debated whether or not this was worth making a video over. And I know, like Carrington Harrison over at Six Ten, he has a YouTube channel, and uh, he made a video on this, and he was like, he thinks it's a smokescreen. And uh, it was like, you know what? Yeah, it might be just because, like, oh, this could help the Chiefs, you know, land the tackle in the draft, uh, you know, because like if they were to say, hey, we think Nian can play left tackle, and then teams would be like, oh, Chiefs don't need a left tackle, and uh, you, you get, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, can, it can, it can kind of benefit you if you're secretive about it. Um, but then I saw this video on Twitter today and Niang's personal trainer that he's been working with, uh, for the past like year or so posted a video and it was like, oh, sucks that I'm saying goodbye to Niang today as he's, you know, off to Kansas city to do, you know, whatever. Um, and it was a video of him practicing in a left tackle stance and taking steps as a left tackle and I think that's significant that they actually have him working as a left tackle because this confirms that, like, hey, I think the Chiefs might be serious about putting Niang at left tackle. And, you know, uh, I think people need to chill out a little bit because I don't think this necessarily means Niang's going to play left tackle, but it's like, hey, if the board falls in a way where the Chiefs don't get what they think is a sure thing at left tackle in the draft... Well, then Niang can also rotate in there and play a little bit of left tackle. You got Mike Remmers who came back this offseason, and he filled in admirably at right tackle last year. So, you know, you still have him. Uh, and I think the plan before that everyone thought was Remmers starts at left or right tackle to start the year, then Niang can slowly develop and maybe take that spot from him. But while he's there... Why not have Niang come in and play left tackle if he's good enough? And he does have the length that the Chiefs like. Uh, I believe he has just over 34-inch arms. He has big enough hands. And uh, he's about 6'6", around 315 pounds or so. You know, he's a large dude. He's got the traits that the Chiefs would like in a left tackle. But as we know... He played a lot of right tackle in college, and we haven't even seen him at right tackle in the NFL yet. Uh, you know, you probably heard by now that Chase Young said that Niang was one of the toughest tackle prospects he faced in college, and that's high praise. So a lot of people are high on Niang, but again, like we just we haven't even seen him at right tackle in the NFL, let alone left tackle. And then you know he is, you know, he was coming off an injury and everything like that. So I don't know. Uh, it's it's interesting, but again, I think. You know, for this to happen, it would be because the Chiefs maybe fell in love with Terrace Marshall at 31 if he was there, and then the tackle board beyond there didn't fall quite right for them, and they end up with a later round guy like, I don't know, a Walker Little or Spencer Brown, and they aren't too sure about them, so they throw Niang in the mix, and uh, maybe they feel good about that. But, you know, I think this is significant because I think the Chiefs are serious about putting Niang at left tackle if needed. But I think it all depends on what will happen in the draft. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick take on this. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys would think of Lucas Niang playing left tackle. Uh, that would probably give you a starting offensive line uh, if Niang were to play at tackle of Lucas Niang, Kyle Long. Actually, no, not Kyle Long. Probably LDT, Joe Tooney. Blythe at center and Remmers at right tackle. That's pretty solid. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. If you agree, if you disagree with anything that I said, uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe so other Chiefs fans can find this and check out my work on showmefootball.com and Arrowhead Attic. But that's all I got for today. Peace.